Hello, and welcome to another episode of Quest for the Masks, the series where we go digging through boxes of Bionicles on the hunt for rare and often surprisingly valuable Kanoe masks. It's been a hot minute since my last upload because today's video was originally supposed to be a different box, which I purchased for a bargainous price, but uh, apparently the seller thought it was a bit too bargainous and cancelled the order. Very sad. But then an even bigger bundle of bits appeared, which I managed to grab for a decent price instead. Yay! And it gets better, because after buying it, the seller dropped me a message. And, uh, well, my first thought after seeing the notification was, oh great, this one's cancelling too. But no, the seller said she'd found some more bits and she was going to include them free of charge. Um, not exactly sure what those extra bits could be, or if they're even all Bionicle, because as you'll see in a moment, this lot is a bit of a weird one. Anyway, let's get the first photo up. So, once again, it's another case of questionable photos from the seller, because, uh, well, we don't really get a close-up on anything. Um, Questionable Title 2, I think it was just Toys and Legos or something like that, and then House Move in capitals. Um, not sure why House Move needed to be in capitals unless it was some kind of threat. Buy this lot or your house will be moved. <laughs> but anyway, photos. Um, at least we have more than one. Uh, the main attraction here, for me at least, was the Barag Twins. They're the very last of the 2001-2002 sets I need, and they're a pain to track down, so I'm hoping they're complete. But it's going to be a bit of a gamble. And speaking of gambling, I have no idea what else is in here. Um, there's a little container at the top that looks like it has a few masks inside, although yeah, there's other junk in there as well. Um, there are some bags, which I can't tell at all what's inside, and some other random stuff, so yeah, who knows. Like I said, questionable photos. But I mustn't complain too much, because photos like that help keep the price down, and that means juicy bargains for anyone willing to take a gamble. Um, I put in a max bid based on only what I would be willing to pay for the barrags, and ended up winning for even less, so any other little gems buried away are a nice bonus. And who doesn't like a surprise? But first, trades! A few of you have reached out in the comments to help fill in my collection, and this is what's come in so far. Um, I won't say any names in case you don't want to be name dropped, but uh, <laughs> you know who you are. Anyway, first little package. Protodermis Kakama, the Mask of Speed. One of the three Protodermis masks I still need, and very difficult to track down. Um, there are six in total, and they're supposed to represent how the Toa Nuva looked after the Borok Kull stole their powers. Um, yeah, really happy with that. Lovely mask. Okay, next parcel, all the way from uh, Thailand, I think it was. Uh, should be a few in here. Oh, some free Krana. Very generous, thank you. I'll have a look at them later. And um, where are the masks? Um, there should be another. Ah, so first up, a white Ruru. One of the so-called misprints, because it's a Turaga mask, so it isn't supposed to exist in this colour. I've um, got three of the six of this one already, so this is number four. Good stuff. And another misprint, White Matatu, the Mask of Telekinesis. Again, fourth out of the six, so just two left. And then we've got a Lime Matatu. Uh, it's not a misprint, but it's what we need anyway. And a Black Miru, because you can never have too many black masks. <laughs> Plus we need it for the display, because, well, the other one's still on Shadow Lower. And then finally, it's a big box for a single mask, but at least it's going to be safe. It's one I'm really happy to get as well. Okay, we've got bubble wrap. Um, how do I get inside? Ah! Ta-da! Yellow cow cow. Ah, one I've been wanting for a while. Traded my spare Protodermis Akakunuva for it, which I think was a fair trade. And where's the little stand? There, ah, both of the misprint cow cows reunited at last. Beautiful. Yeah, very happy with that. Anyway, onwards. So, I'm a bit worried about these holes, because holes mean there's room for bits to escape. Um, although there's some kind of cardboard inside, it feels like, so we might be alright. Okay, we're in. Um, some sort of attempt at packaging here. Get rid of that. Um, nope. And we've got canisters! So, right away, these must be the extra bits of cellophane, because there definitely weren't any canisters in the photo. And uh, first up, it's our friend Lewa. Uh There's something inside, presumably Lewa. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> okay, not Lewa. Um, a gear? Hmm, okay. Uh, instructions, though. Well, that's still useful, I guess. And then we've got another canister. Gally Nuva. Oh, she's definitely inside, because I can see her. Ooh. Hello, Gally. Yeah, there she is. I'll look at you later. Oh, here we go. It's barrack time. And we've got Kadok, the blue one. Um, yeah, I'm hoping all the bits are in here. 
somehow still has all the rubber bands attached. So hopefully the mechanism's going to work. Uh, wow, yeah. Man, you've really got to admire the creativity of the designers for this Bionicle stuff. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to start. Um, oh, he's a bit creaky though. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Hmm. Needs a drop of oil. <laughs> anyway, um, another canister. Oh, that someone sat on. Hmm. Don't know who that is. Lost his arms though. Uh, some random bits of plastic. Um, guns. Oh, that's off an EO shifter. Uh, helmet. Um, yeah, nothing exciting there. And that canister needs to go in the trash as well. <laughs> Not going to be able to do anything with that. And then we've got a giraffe! Um, yeah, because why not? Hmm. What's this? Um, it's a ghost. Woo! Oh, he's trying to escape. Yeah, um, got a little ball and chain on there. Weird. Okay, uh, then we've got another canister. On you this time. Doesn't sound like there's much inside. Um, no, just instructions. Oh well. Hmm. Now these look like crazy bones, which is funny because some of my first uploads on the channel were crazy bones, so um, we've come full circle. Um, yeah, definitely some kind of crazy bones, although they're a bit different to the ones I'm used to. And I've never seen so many clear ones together before. Um, okay, ghosts. Ghosts and monsters, maybe? Oh, somebody like ghosts, I guess. Should have been a Halloween episode. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Yeah, loads of them. Well, I'll look at them later. Um, who's next? Ah, looks like Galley. Yep, good old Galley. Needs a hooks though, and a mask. Um, yeah. And another Barag. Gadok, the red one. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's jammed. Come on. Um. Oh, hold on. Yeah. So what's that doing in there? Yeah, that locks it in place. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, next up, a uh, big gun off something. Um, looks like an X-Wing, maybe. Um, nope. Ah, that's Caddock's arm. How does that go on? Um... Like that, I guess. Good. Ooh, a pot of mysteries. Um. Um. Ooh, what's this? The robot. Okay. And uh, we've got Garfield. Um, cute little Dalmatian. Metal coin. Mm, poison. Okay. And then some other bits. Um... Oh, it's Pikachu! Pika Pika! Nice. And then a chain. Uh, or a bracelet. Hmm. Silver bracelet. <laughs> Be nice if this actually was silver, but I imagine it's just some cheap stainless steel tap because there's no. Uh... What's this? Um, is that a hallmark? What even is a hallmark? Where's my phone? Okay, so, uh, this says 95, and 95 apparently means 92.5% silver. So, um, is this actually silver? I mean, I would have preferred one of the silver crown or if we were going to get some silver, but okay. Um, I'm going to have to get this appraised, aren't I? Um, <laughs> I do toys, not real world things like precious metal. <laughs> um... Okay, well, until then, you can go there. Um, what's next? Uh, oh, binoculars. Um, oh, is it like a kaleidoscope? No, just binoculars. Jesus. Um, 
Oh, property of International. Isn't that the hotel from John Wick? Um, yeah, okay. Right, I tried to think what's next. Um, well, it looks harmless enough. Um, little plastic creatures. Quite a lot of them. Let's have a look. Um, oh, that one's a Digimon. Yeah, I recognise him. Are these all Digimon? I have no idea. Um, yeah, that's a Digimon too. Okay, nice. Um, right, out of the way. On with the next ones. Um, hmm. Uh, some kind of gargoyle? No, it's more rubbish. Um, a tail? No. Oh, what are these? Oh, wow. A chubby knight and, um... Gormless-looking pirate. Wow, terrifying. Bye. Oh, that was Leywar at some point. Ooh. Oh, oh! <laughs> I thought we had some more silver there, but it's super light. Um, yeah, just plastic. Oh well. Um, um, a skeleton. I guess that goes with the tail from earlier. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, that's off Caddock. And then... There's a Neo-Shifter! Oh, because there's always a Neo-Shifter. Lovely. Um... Bohatu, Lord of the Thigh Gap. Um, missing a few bits though. I'm sure we can get you fixed up. That's Caddock again. Um, Try and get these bits attached. Oh, how do you plug on? Yeah. Um. Oh, come on, you must fit somewhere. Yeah. Got there in the end. And with the other leg. Yeah, there we go. Right, we need more room. Um, let's try and clear away a bit. Yeah, let's get you out of the way. Okay, it's Onua, wearing a stylish ribbon. Very nice. Too bad about his head. Okay, a seashell. Um, and a T-Rex skull. Let's get that attached. Uh, there. Yay. John Hammond would be proud. Um, aha! Masks. That's what we like to see. Oh, look at them all trapped in there. They must be freed! How do we get inside? Um, oh, it's taped up. Okay. There we go. <laughs> well, yeah, very funny. Where's the other one? Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's in nice condition at least. Okay, let's look at the others. Um, yeah, so, blue mahiki, which we need. 
uh, Grey Hoona. And a Grey Mahiki, completing the Mahikis. Uh, blue Kakama, which we need. It's like ages since we ticked off a Kakama. Uh, Lime Ruru. Green Akaku. Another Green Akaku. Dark Grey Matatu. Uh, Grey Mahiki again. Brown Akaku. Ah, oh, Ronnie was missing head. Um, and a red Kakama, that's a repeat. Let's get Onyo's head on. Yeah, good as new. Um, oh, an orange Ruru. And a lime Huna, which we need. So, just one Huna left. Um, is that it? Um, uh, yeah, I think it's just the slider bits left. Oh, no. Green Pakari, which we have already. Uh, can't complain, we made some good progress. Um, even if the best one was a repeat. Hmm. Bottle cap. And some rusty metal. Yeah, I feel like someone's just putting junk in a box here. Hmm. Uh, another shell. Mm-hmm. Oh, my fingers feel a bit dirty. Yeah. Okay, and that's Gadog's foot. And... Oh. Put you together. And that's... Uh, I don't know, maybe Gadog too? Oh, there's another one in blue, so yeah, I guess so. Ow! A nice shard of metal, great. And what's this? More rusty broken metal, lovely. But that's Caddox's other foot. Yep, I uh, just need your antenna now. Rawr! Uh, ooh, a red. Um, Native American. <laughs> and a leg for Gadok. Yay! Uh, let's try and get that on. There. Uh, at least you can hop into battle now. Oh, and there's the other leg. That's good. Yep, let's get that attached. Uh, right, a foot. And... Uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, he's cutting his tongue off. What the heck? Um, looks a bit like a boglin, though. Um, maybe baby boglin? Yeah, I'm not sure what else it could be. Hmm, strange. Yeah, that's Lewa's mask. His leg. Nope. Oh, another rubbery guy. Um, wow, okay. Um, doing the S word. Controversial. Um, <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't be able to sell something like this nowadays. Uh, nope. Oh, another chubby pirate. That's Gadox on. There we go. We're getting there. Um. Oh, I don't know what that is. And another boglin thing. I'm um, eating its tail this time. Yeah. More bones for the T-Rex. Another leg. Ooh, what's this? Another bracelet? Oh no, uh, a watch. Without the watch. Useful. <laughs> Is it too much to hope for solid gold? Um, 
No, I can't see any markings. Oh well. Oh. Nah. Yeah, more rusty metal. I'm gonna need a tetanus shot after this, aren't I? Ah, oh, that's Gadok's other arm. Um, so I think they're both pretty much complete. Um, yeah. Um, well, I think that's just about everything. Uh, let's empty the box and make sure. Yeah, there's nothing else. Okay, time for the roundup. So, here we go. A weird selection this time. Um, I've put some of the more interesting stuff on display, as you can see, but uh, we've got plenty of other weird bits. There's loads of rusty metal, um, an old razor blade, all these plastic thingies, and even a fingernail. Ugh. So, I'm guessing somebody just started using their old toy box as a bin at some point. Um, anyway, Bionicles. For the Toa, we got Onua, Gali, Liwa, and Pohatu, plus Gali Nuva in her canister. And then we got Kadok, the blue one, and Gadok, the red one. I feel like their names should be the other way around, since Gar is normally used for blue characters, but uh, maybe that's just me. Anyway, both are complete, which is great news. Um, yeah, really happy with them. And then we've got the masks. Four new ones, and a heck of a lot of repeats, including a second yellow cow cow. Which is a shame, but maybe I can trade it for another Protodermus Nuva mask. And then there's this silver chain, um, or bracelet, whatever it is. And um, honestly, I'm not quite sure what to do with it. Um, I could be nice and ask if they want it back, but um, yeah, is it fair game? Could I invoke Finders Keepers, maybe? <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching. Please do all the usual stuff like liking and subscribing, and until next time, ta-ta.